Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? In my last video I showed you how to draw a dragonfly, but in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a water boatman, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You are going to need a pen, a pencil and an eraser. I'm going to start by drawing a line down the middle and then round right about there I'm going to draw mm, kind of a circle and then we want to draw curves coming out from it, equidistant from the center line, and bring that down into a nice kind of shape like that. So it's mm, it's kind of like a rugby ball, isn't it? Or an American football. <laughs> I'm just gonna smooth some of these lines out. Now when you're drawing, when you're doing a plan drawing like this, don't press hard on the pencil because it'll be almost impossible to draw. <laughs> It'll be almost impossible to erase the lines later. And then we've got that coming around there. Now find about the middle there and put a little X. Here we're going to draw a, what we'd call an inline, like that, which means then that we can draw a curve there and a curve there. And then we want to have a curve coming around there and then that line follows through into a nice curve at the bottom there like that. Now we can start inking in and I'm going to go all the way around the outside and then I'm going to draw a curve across the top like that. I'll put a line each side and then a little circle in each side each one and these are going to be the eyes and you can shade them all in completely dark. Now this is sort of going to come down to a point here and back so let's draw that more sort of down like that and then let's take a point around about here and then we're going to draw that curve around there that will be about there and draw a curve around like that so then you can draw curve down to the middle and then to join up at the bottom a curve down to the middle and then join up the bottom so then we can draw another curve there another curve there sort of coming up to the top like that and then from here this will come down 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 and then kind of disappear onto the bottom line there Cool. Now let's have the oars. They're going to curve around like that and then they will sort of be quite pointy but then we want them also to be kind of curved underneath like that as well. Then we're also going to want the the other legs. So they're actually they're insects basically so they should have six legs. But the <laughs> the other two are kind of tucked up inside underneath. Um, so here we can draw these bits coming to what will they be the elbows or something like that and then you can make those come to a point at the end and if you draw towards a point then you can kind of flick to get a nice point at the end like that and then these will be something like that and then we'll have another section of leg and another section each one getting slightly thinner and then another little bit of a little kind of clory things at the end now these are the oars so these so now we're going to do what will be the the blades of the oars weren't they that's what we call that section on an oar so if we just kind of flick these bits out that way and then here we'll do it the other direction and if you if you flick it <laughs> then you get a nice point at the end of the line which makes it look kind of thinner at the end and now if you're really clever and you take your time you kind of get in between each of those lines and do a kind of a half flick so only flick half the distance and then that will kind of make it look darker at the beginning 
beginning at the start you know up at the um, at, at the the at the section where all these little hairs are coming out from because they're actually instead of hairs aren't they they're not really blades hmm. and again when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry you can erase all those pencil lines if the ink isn't dry the ink will smudge and if you press too hard at the beginning you're not going to be able to erase those lines very clearly so what i'm going to do is put a little bit of kind of shading so these are kind of they're not quite dots they are at the end so start with kind of tiny little lines which then become dots so lines that become dots and these will be dots down the side here and this just gives a little bit of sort of um, shading to the whole thing and you can maybe put some in along there as well and then we have got a kind of a curved pattern all the way across and I'm kind of no, doing a jittery line and I'm going to do the same here and it doesn't matter if you kind of miss some little bits and I'm going backwards and forwards and I'm doing jitter 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 like that jitter, 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 jitter. Uh, so it's kind of almost a scribble isn't it just to kind of get that pattern and it's probably best to start from the bottom and, and kind of work your way up and you want a slight curve to it so a little jitter jitter jitter, jitter, jitter. <laughs> and oh, maybe a bit more in there and as I said doesn't matter if you it's a kind of a broken up pattern so it doesn't matter if you kind of miss a little bit in the middle of the line but you don't want to miss a whole line out on the way up if that makes sense so we're going jitter 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 and we want to kind of curve to it as well and then kind of like we did with sort of splitting in the middle there we can just draw some in between just some extra ones going up the side there not joined to the end line but just just to one side that will come down there and that will just help to give a bit of a feeling of the shape of the of the shell it's not a shell is it it's a, <laughs> it's, a it's a body and then on these lines here I'm doing lines right the way across the lines and then I will sort of turn them into dots and then that will help to just kind of shade the whole thing like that and I think we could do the same up there and then dots 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 like that all you need to do now is to color it in a kind of a pinky brown and then make the legs and the stripes a little bit darker kind of brown. Next time I will show you how to draw a caddy splice so make sure that you are subscribed. <laughs> Click the button down there and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy for lots more drawings every week. In the meantime, in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.